Hello everyone. Today, let's learn about direct and indirect speech. There are two ways of saying what someone else said in the past. For example, last weekend, some friends and I were planning to go see a movie, but one friend Ben could not join us. Ben said I have a dental appointment this evening, meaning he had to go to the dentist, so he couldn't come with us. Now here, I am repeating Ben's words exactly or directly without making any changes. This is called direct speech. But we don't always repeat the other person's words exactly. Because the words are not very important, but the message is more important. So we can say it like this instead. Ben said that he had a dental appointment that evening. This form is called indirect speech. It is also called reported speech. Because like a news reporter, we are reporting that other person's words. Now, I want you to notice a couple of differences between the direct and the indirect sentences. When we write direct speech, we always put quotation marks around the original words. This is to show that we are repeating the words exactly without any change. But in indirect speech, we don't use quotation marks. The second point is the word that. This is used in indirect speech, but it is never used in direct speech. Now, in informal situations, we can often leave it out in reported speech like this. Ben said he had a dental appointment that evening. Informally, that's okay. But in formal situations, don't leave out the word that. These are the two basic differences. Now, let's talk about how to convert a sentence from direct to indirect speech. There are three steps for doing this. Number one, change the pronouns. Number two, backshift the tense. And number three, change the time and place expressions. In the example, you see that the pronoun I in direct speech has become he in the reported sentence. He refers to Ben. This is the first step. Next, the verb has changed from had to had. When Ben spoke, his words were in the present tense. But now, when we report those words, we change them to the past tense. This is called backshifting, that is, shifting the tense back to the past. And we also see that the word this evening, which is a time expression, has become that evening. These are the three main changes that we make when converting a sentence from direct to indirect speech. Alright, now let's see some examples and steps uh, how to convert the next 15 sentences. Let's see the first one. Sarah said, I drink black coffee every morning. How to change this to indirect speech now? Let's find out by using these rules and try to change it. The indirect speech sentence is, Sarah said that she drank black coffee every morning. I become she, that's step number one, change the pronouns. Drink, which is in the present simple tense, became, becomes drank, that is past simple. This is the second step, backshift the tense. And there are no time or place expressions here, so we don't need step number three here. Okay, let's move on to sentence number two. Naveen said, I am learning to play the guitar. How to change this? Let's try to change this sentence also. Naveen said that he was learning to play the guitar. I changes to he, am learning that is present continuous tense, changes to was learning that is past continuous tense. And next sentence is my son is graduating next week. She said with great excitement. We see the reported clause she said with great excitement at the end of the sentence. This is very common. So, how would you change this? Let's find out. When we change the sentence into indirect speech, we almost always put that reporting clause at the beginning. So, she said with great excitement that the words my son becomes her son and we backshift the tense here. So, my son is graduating becomes her son was graduating. And next week, it is a time expression. We can either say the next week or the following week. So, she said with great excitement that her son was graduating the next week or the following week. Anyone you can write. Number four, I quit my job a week ago. She confessed to his wife. Confessed means that he admitted the truth to his wife. So, how can we change this type of sentence here? Let's see. He confessed to his wife that he had quit his job a week before. 
notice that in the direct quote here the verb is already in the past simple past that is quit we backshift a simple past tense it changes to the past perfect that is had quit and ago changes to before in indirect speech that's just a rule that you can see here let's go to the next sentence hema didn't come to work yesterday the manager told me how to change this sentence let us find out the answer is the manager told me that hema hadn't come to work didn't come is a past tense negative simple past tense which changes to hadn't come that is past perfect tense then we have yesterday which becomes either the previous day or the day before both are correct so the answer will be the manager told me that hema hadn't come to work the previous day or the day before number six sentence is a little challenging the kid told his parents i was watching tv and the power went out how to change this sentence now let's see the kid told his parents that he had been watching tv and the power had gone out was watching is a past continuous verb and it gets back shifted to a past perfect continuous verb had been watching and the power went out is past simple past it becomes that the power had gone out next one i have seen the movie three times already i explained the answer is i explained that i had seen the movie three times already have seen becomes had seen here so this means that if you have a present perfect verb it changes to past perfect when we backshift it so what about this sentence then we have been waiting for over two hours they complained they complained that they had been waiting for over two hours have been waiting is a present perfect continuous verb it gets back shifted to had been waiting that is past perfect continuous number nine let's see i'll pick you up at the airport tomorrow he promised he promised that he would pick me up at the airport the next day or the following day here we see that the model verb will had been has been changed to its past form that is would and tomorrow has become the next day or the following day both mean the same thing here now with the verb promise you can also make the sentence like this he promised to pick me up at the airport the following day you can also write in this way this is a special use of the verb promise like using to plus an infinitive verb that's also correct okay let's see number 10 now i would like to buy this necklace she told the shop assistant here so here the model verb would is used isn't it this is already a past form and there's no way to back shift it there's no past perfect for model verbs remember that so you can just say she told the shop assistant that she would like to buy that necklace this necklace becomes to uh, the necklace or that necklace also you can write both are correct next sentence is the girl said my brother and i were i are going to have pizza tonight isn't it this one is a little tricky one we start with that girl said that and then we have my brother and i so it becomes she and her brother only with i we put the other person first my brother and i my friend and i john and i etc but with other pronouns we put the pronoun first she and her brother are going to becomes we're going to now if we had am or is going to then it would change that to was going to but here we have are and that's why it becomes where tonight becomes that night isn't it so the girl said that she and her brother were going to have pizza that night next one i can speak four languages chat boasted to boast means to brag or to talk proudly about yourself praise yourself try to change this sentence let's see how to do that the indirect speech sentence is chad boasted that he could speak four languages notice that can has become could sentence number 13 let's see shannon said we may go to japan on vacation here the answer is shannon said that they might go to japan on vacation we has become they may has changed to might because that's the past form of that may and next sentence his driving instructor told him you must obey traffic rules this sentence answer is his driving instructor told him that he must obey or had to obey traffic rules
must can either stay the same or you can write had to also but if you have mustn't in the sentence then you must have to write mustn't only for example the police officer said you mustn't park here the reported sentence is the police officer said that i mustn't park there so mustn't stays as mustn't all right here's the last sentence in this exercise her father said you should take your studies more seriously answer her father said that she should take her studies more seriously should is already the past tense of shall so we leave it unchanged this is true of all the past tense models we saw would before then similarly we don't backshift could or might also we leave them as they are only now let's move on to the next part i want to point out a couple of things here first about backshifting the tenses in some situations when we go back from direct to indirect speech we don't backshift the tense for example let's see at the workplace i ask a colleague of mine tania to help me with something but tania says i can't help you sorry i have a lot of work to do if i want to convey this message to someone else immediately then i might say tania says she can't help me because she has a lot of work to do notice the reporting verb is in the present tense says and the other verbs in the sentence also stay in the present tense can't help and has this is because i am reporting her words immediately that's why that's not much delay and so backshifting is not at all that important we also see this form in the news a lot like when current events are being reported they are both indirect speech these are both indirect speech sentences the like the retail chain has announced that it will open two more stores next month the police chief said that the investigation is still ongoing in sentence number 2 the reporting verb is has announced a present perfect form and in number 3 the reporting verb is said that is simple past maybe the police chief said these words in a recent interview but in both sentences there is no backshifting of the tense in reported speech because the news is recent also in the second sentence we see the time expression next month has not been changed to the following like the following month or the next month that's because the next month is still in the future for us when we report this so this is the first point the next point is about the verb say and tell you may have noticed that in some of the previous examples that tell is followed by a person like me him her etc i have a few sentences here from the last exercise let's see that the first one says the manager told me in the second one uh, she told the shop assistant and in the third the kid told his parents grammatically this person is called an indirect object the rule is that the verb tell must take an indirect object that is some person so if you remove that indirect verb it is grammatically incorrect now the verb say is the opposite of this say must not take an indirect object in all of these examples we can use say but then we have to remove the indirect object in fact many english learners make the common mistake of putting an indirect object after say also like said me uh said him that's wrong and you should also avoid it in some sentences you might see this form the manager said to me she said to the shop assistant the kid said to his parents etc that is grammatically correct but it's not very common here i am showing it to you so that you are aware of it but if you need to include an indirect object then use tell if you don't you need to use an indirect object use say all right all right Let's now move on and talk about changing questions from direct to indirect speech. Here's an example. What do you want? She asked me. That's the direct speech question. In indirect or reported speech this becomes she asked me what I wanted. The first thing to notice here is that we have used the reporting verb ask and not say or tell. Second, just like in statements only, we have changed the pronoun from you to I. 
and we have backshifted the tense want has become wanted this sentence has no time or place expressions but if there are any in a question then we have to change that also but there is one important change we have to make here the word order from going uh, when going from direct to indirect we have kept the question word what but we have removed the auxiliary verb do here then you becomes i want becomes wanted so what we have here is not a question form but a statement what i wanted this has the same word order as a simple past tense statement and for that reason we don't put a question mark at the end of a reported question notice that there is only a period or full stop at the end if you put a question mark then after an indirect question that's wrong next example he asked where did salman go yesterday let's convert this we keep the question word where so he asked where now the direct speech question is in the simple past this needs to be back shifted or changed to past perfect and we need to put it in the statement form so he asked where salman had gone the day before or the previous day both are okay i would like you to notice something here with the verb ask in the first example we saw she asked me and in this example just he asked with no object is there both of these are correct because the verb ask can be used with or without an object just keep that in mind all right here's one more question but you will notice that there's something different about it do you like coffee she asked what's different let's see well there's no question word like what where why etc so this is a yes or no question here how do we change this into reported speech now the process is almost the same we start with the reporting verb she asked and now because we don't have any question word here we will use either if or whether i am going to use if here and then we just put the rest of the sentence in the form of a statement here and we back shift the tense into past that is she asked if i liked coffee again no question mark is required okay let's do an exercise how to practice changing questions from direct to indirect speech now we will go through nine sentences here here's the first one he asked her why is the baby crying how to change this to indirect speech let's see first he asked her why then we need to convert the question into a statement form it is in the present continuous sentence so tense so we back shift that to a past continuous tense statement so he asked her why the baby was crying no question mark the baby was crying is a past continuous tense statement number 2 does this hotel have a swimming pool the guests inquired let's see how to change this sentence into indirect speech this is a yes or no question we will need if or whether i will is whether this time the guest inquired whether you can use if also and now the question is which is in the present simple tense needs to be back shifted to the simple past tense <clears throat> the guest inquired whether the hotel had a swimming pool you could also say that hotel instead of the hotel all right next one who has eaten all the cookies asked rick's mother the reported question is rick's mother asked who had eaten all the cookies next sentence are they leaving tomorrow morning shivani asked it changes to shivani asked if they were leaving the next morning or the following morning in the place of if you can use whether also if you want number 5 he asked how long should i boil an egg <clears throat> the reported question is he asked how long he should boil an egg should does not back shift remember next question colton asked me have you received the package see now i am a little tired of using the verb ask so i am going to use a different question report verb colton wanted to know colton wanted to know if i had received the package so instead of asked i have used wanted to know so there's if if this is a yes or no question here and the present perfect question in direct speech gets back shifted to a past perfect tense statement okay next one when will your sister get here she asked her husband 
let's see she asked her husband when his sister would get there number eight why didn't you attend the meeting my boss questioned me questioned my boss questioned why i hadn't attended the meeting the question in direct speech here is a negative form we back shift it to a past perfect negative statement and here's the last one didn't nicole tell you we were coming today she, he asked he asked whether nicole hadn't told us that they were coming that day now let's move on to the next one reporting request instructions advice how to change these all when people make a polite request they often phrase it in the form of a yes or no question for example arjun asked me can you lend me uh, $200 this is a request for a loan here isn't it you can report it just like a yes or no question here Arjun asked me if I could lend him $200 that is correct but there's another way to write it also we can say Arjun asked me to lend him $200 the structure of this sentence is the verb ask plus an object object is a grammatical term what we mean here is a person like asked me in the sentence like a to infinitive verb that is preposition plus to a verb in its base form like to lend here's the next example turn off the tv his mother told him obviously this is not a polite request it's like a scolding it's an instruction in fact it's a command so instead of the verb ask we are going to use the stronger verb here like told tell so his mother told him to turn off the tv so the guideline here is to ask use ask for request and tell for instructions and orders and commands etc if a request or command is negative you just add not before that don't feed the animals the zookeeper told us uh, we change this to indirect speech like the zookeeper told us not to feed the animals the next example is which we saw in a previous exercise expresses advice here her father said you should take your studies more seriously if you remember this from the exercise we can convert this to indirect speech as his her father said that she should take her studies more seriously but since her father is giving her advice we can use the verb advise s e her father advised her to take her studies more seriously simple all right it's time for another exercise to practice all of this what we learned now i have six sentences now this time let's see what are these some of them are request some are instructions commands and some are expressing advice also let's try to solve them and we all have to change into indirect or reported speech now number one he asks uh, jasmine would you be able to take care of my pets while i'm away let's see how to change it this is a polite request so we need to use the verb ask here okay so he asked jasmine to take care of his pets while he was away number two please hang your bags with the bell hope the receptionist told us let's see how to change this now this is a polite request here you can see receptionist but it is also an instruction for the guest at the hotel so you can use both ask also or tell also if you you ask use ask it is quite polite at the same time it is all instruction so tell is also okay you can use here i am going to use tell here the reception is told us to leave our bags with the bell hope okay next one please do not bring food into the park said a sign at the entrance let's change this sentence here let's see this is an instruction and we can say a sign at the entrance told us not to bring food into the park but it's a general sign meant for everybody so in this case we can just use the verb say as in the direct speech isn't it a sign at the entrance said not to bring food into the park because we are using the verb say that is why there is no object remember say does not take an indirect object next sentence get out of my office her boss yelled to yell means to shout with anger let's see how to change this sentence here here her boss told her to get out of his office if you want to make it more stronger you can write her boss ordered her to get out of his office 
now in this reported sentence the boss is male here that is why we have used like to get out of his office but of course if the boss were like female and uh, the pronoun would be her number five philip's doctor told him you should exercise more now this sentence you can say philip's doctor told him to exercise more better is philip's doctor advised him to exercise more last one i hadn't i wouldn't eat that pizza if i were you her friend said to her let's see how to change this now this sentence looks like a conditional and that is but this is a common way of giving advice i would do this and i wouldn't do that if i were you so we can once again use the verb here advise her friend advised her not to eat the pizza you can also say that pizza it means the same thing here all right now let's see what we have practiced converting the statements here we have questions requests instruction advice from direct to indirect speech all this we have tried to change so let's see we are going to see all these them put them together and see a final question quiz here you can see 10 sentences here all of you can try them you can change each one of them and you can convert these sentences into indirect speech you can practice more then you will learn it in a better way the answers will be uh, very easy for you if you have understood the lesson i hope all of you have enjoyed this lesson so till next time thank you and happy learning check out the answers that are given thank you bye for now